Hello everyone let's start off this class so next topic we have is hematology and some chromosomal anomalies simple and sweet to the point so what is the normal level of clotting factor the normal level of clotting factor 8 in human body is 50 to 80 percent I have good clotting factors in my body means is 50 to 100 percent okay so then depends if I have a mild hemophilia moderate hemophilia and severe hemophilia because in hemophilia a the clotting factor deficiency is the factor number 8 I'll repeat again it's very easy okay what is the normal level of factor number 8 in our body 50 to 100 percent if factor 8 deficiency will happen what will i have hemophilia what are the types mild moderate severe hemophilia in mild hemophilia the clotting factor basically is 5 to 50 percent moderate hemophilia 1 to 5 percent and severe hemophilia and my clotting factor is less than 1 percent okay that is one thing Number two, we have something known as PT and APTT. What is PT? PT is prothrombin time. What is APTT? Activated partial thromboplastin time. So prothrombin time and man activated partial thromboplastin time. So one the question they ask if my PT is deranged, which pathway defect I have? Imagine the mnemonic pet, matlab doggy. So PT, if the PT is deranged, I have extrinsic pathway defect. And if my APTT is deranged, I have a intrinsic pathway defect. So PT T D range extrinsic pathway defect and APTT D range intrinsic pathway defect and this uh, pa activated partial thromboplastin time is the best screening test in a case of hemophilia. Please remember that. Okay. If I talk about anemia, what is severe anemia? Less than seven gram per deciliter. Less than seven is severe anemia. Seven to ten is moderate anemia. Se less than seven is severe anemia. Seven to ten is moderate anemia and ten to eleven is mild anemia. Ten to eleven is mild anemia and more than 11 is non-anemic less than 7 is severe anemia 7 to 10 is moderate anemia 10 to 11 is mild anemia and more than 11 is non-anemic in a case of sickle cell anemia which amino acid is replaced by what in a sickle cell anemia number one simple thing we, the mnemonic we have is glue and val glue and val the glutamate amino acid has been replaced by valin the glutamate amino acid has been replaced by valin Actually, that is why my beautiful biconcave RBC has converted into sickled shape RBC. My beautiful biconcave RBC has converted into sickle shape RBC. So this sickle cell anemia is a chromosomal disorder caused by the mutation of beta hemoglobin gene at the chromosome number 11. Chromosome number 11 and I told you the red blood cell becomes very sticky, become very sickle shape. You know whenever a child is exposed to low level oxygen and what will happen? So this sickling will happen you no know, the sickle shape rbc they'll go and because they will go and get clumped everywhere clumps banayenge and that clumps are nothing but kind of a plaques okay they form basically plaques these plaques will go to my finger and will cause pain in my finger this plaque will go to my fingers it will cause dactylitis in your mcq that five year old child should have a painful uh, you know inflammation in the fingers painful fingers the baby should have so dactylitis and the patient should also have arthritis also because all these plaques are getting accumulated in the joint causing arthralgia arthritis and all that okay number one number two very importantly for a child with iron deficiency anemia the blood study would most likely reveal decrease mcv which in turn demonstrate microcytic anemia i know that okay so in a case of iron deficiency anemia number one serum ferritin decreases and compensatory total iron binding capacity increases serum ferritin jab kam hota hai to piche is kaise banta hai tibc se banta hai serum ferritin jab serum ferritin kam ho jayega to wo call karega tibc ko ki are yaar tumna production whenever the serum ferritin is low he will give a call to the total iron binding capacity people to increase their production because that is how the you know rbc is formed so that you should know next kawasaki kawasaki what it is a large vessel vasculitis or a small vessel vasculitis kawasaki is a medium vessel vasculitis kawasaki is a medium vessel vasculitis please remember that number one number two 20 percent of children suffering from kawasaki may develop aneurysm formation if not intervention 
इन बिकॉज कावासा की इज अ मीडियम वेसल बेसिकली इन्वॉल्विंग द कॉर्नरी आर्टरी एंड इट कैन कॉज कॉर्नरी आर्टरी एंड यू रीजम ओके एंड वेयर द कॉर्नरी आर्टरी कॉर्नरी आर्टरी मोर देन एट मिलीमीटर डायमीटर एंड यू रीजम इज सिग्निफिकेंट आई रिपीट अगेन कावासा की इज अ मीडियम वेसल मीडियम वेसल मीन्स इन्वॉल्विंग कॉर्नरी आर्टरी कॉर्नरी आर्टरी मीन्स इट कॉजेज कॉर्नरी आर्टरी स्टिनोसिस कॉर्नरी आर्टरी एन्यूरिज्म और हाउ मच एन्यूरिज्म कितने एम mm का जो है ये ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन होना चाहिए इफ द कॉर्नरी आर्टरी डायमीटर इज मोर देन एट एम एम ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज देयर मोर देन एट एम एम स्टे ऑब्स्ट्रक्शन इज देयर दैट इज सिग्निफिकेंट फॉर द कावासा की we all know that where do you see strawberry trunk strawberry tongue it is seen in kawasaki and also in scarlet fever as for strawberry as for scarlet fever so strawberry trunk it is seen in scarlet fever acute lymphoblastic leukemia all acute lymphoblastic leukemia is the most common type of leukemia seen in children acute lymphocytic not lymphoblastic acute lymphocytic leukemia next trisomy we all know that all three trisomy trisomy 13 is patau syndrome 21 is down syndrome and trisomy 18 is edward syndrome trisomy 18 is edward syndrome and down syndrome is the most common trisomy it is the most common chromosomal disorder okay we all know down syndrome the patient will have a brush field spots in the iris okay what is the mcq mcq is where do you see single palmar crease the answer is down syndrome where do you see brachycephaly the answer is down syndrome and which is the most common cause of mental retardation or intellectual disability in pediatric age group the most common cause of mental retardation the non preventable cause of mental retardation is down syndrome followed by fragile x syndrome down syndrome followed by fragile x syndrome that you should know trisomy 18 is what 18 is edward syndrome or edward syndrome very importantly you will see rocker bottom feet mcq where do you see rocker bottom feet the answer is Edward syndrome, which is the most commonest cause of ophthalmia, ophthalmia neonatorum. It is chlamydia trichomatis, chlamydia trichomatis serovar D serovirus D to K. They are the causes for ophthalmia neonatorum, which is the most commonest, which is the most severe cause of ophthalmia neonatorum. It is Neisseria gonorrhea. So Neisseria gonorrhea is the most commonest cause of ophthalmia neonatorum, and most severe cause is this, and most common cause is chlamydia trichomatis. metes next we have is nephrotic syndrome we all know nephrotic syndrome is a kidney problem that causes the body to excrete the proteins in urine excrete the protein proteins in the urine means the patient will have a massive protein urea massive protein urea and how will you know the massive protein urea i'll do a heat coagulation test sct heat coagulation test i'll take the patient's urine heat it and if there is a change in the color of the you know urine 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus means something is wrong okay it basically caused by damage to the glomeruli and it causes edema of the feet and the ankle so the patient will have massive protein urea hyperlipidemia edema the patient will have so uh, edema the patient will have weight gain hypoalbuminemia the patient will have acha hematuria very importantly hematuria you see more in a case of nephritic syndrome remember that is how you differentiate nephrotic from nephritic so remember all all are identified here also so hematuria so remember hematuria is more commonly seen in a case of nephritic syndrome not a nephrotic syndrome that you should know and nephrotic syndrome what is the nursing intervention it's all about urine output measuring because you urinary you protein urea basically urine output is something which is very greatly compromised and there is something known as urinary protein is to urinary creatinine ratio which is more than 2 is to 1 significant in a case of nephrotic syndrome urinary protein to urinary creatinine ratio more than 2 is to 1 is significant for the nephrotic syndrome we have to clear this exam guys we have to clear this exam there is no looking back bahut parents ne bahut ummeedein laga rakhi hain bahut log wait kar rahe hain zindagi ke is padha ko khatam karne ka kar lo thode se marks se reh gaye sari umar rote pitoge ki thodi si padhai aur kar lete to better tha neend bhi aayegi chakkar bhi aayega covid bhi aayenge pet mein dard bhi hoga dast bhi lagenge aur girlfriend aur boyfriend ki yaad bhi aayegi lekin kya kare iske aage to kar fir bhi to padhai to karni hai na are you understanding so everything will come you know neend bhi aayega friend neend aaye to friend ko bolo bolo do thappad marega tumhare theek hai chakkar bhi aayega to ek sui chuba do apne pair pe apne aap ko so but you have to study because it's extremely torturing to sit again after six months again with the same syllabus same faculty just for few marks sir par thode kam number aage main 6 mahine dobara repeat karunga you should not be speaking that line in your entire life so bloody better start studying and do something about it okay 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन द चाइल्ड हैज नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम एंड एज इन रिमिशन शुड बी गिवन रेगुलर डाइट विद नो एडिड शुगर ओके फाइन फाइन ओके नेफ्रोटिक सिंड्रोम रिमिशन में जा रहा है सो नॉर्मल रेगुलर डाइट विद नो शुगर ओके फाइन ओके वॉट अबाउट एक्यूट पोस्ट स्टेप्टर ग्लोमेरोलो नेफ्राइटिस सो पोस्ट स्टेप्टो कोकल ग्लोमेरोलो नेफ्राइटिस पी एस जी एन ही विल हैव हिमेटूरिया एंड प्रोटीन यूरिया एडिमा एंड रीनल इनसफिशियंसी इवन कोला कलर्ड यूरिन टी कलर्ड यूरिन इज वन ऑफ द इंडिकेशन इफ द पेशेंट प्रेजेंट टू यू विद कोला कलर यूरिन और टी कलर यूरिन यू कैन थिंक ऑफ पोस्ट स्टेप्टो कोकल ग्लोमेरोलो नेफ्राइटिस विच इज बेसिकली एन इन्फेक्शन ओके आफ्टर सर्कम सीजन पीनियस इज नॉर्मली रेड एंड विद स्मॉल अमाउंट ऑफ ब्लड इट ड्रेनेज ऑल्सो येलो एक्सरेट मे बी नोटेड इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर्स विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द नॉर्मल हीलिंग प्रोसेस ठीक है आफ्टर सर्कम सीजन पीनियस इज नॉर्मली रेड एंड ही कैन हैव अ ब्लड इट ड्रेनेज दैट आई अंडरस्टैंड ब्लैडर एक्सोस्ट्रोफी इज अ इमेज बेस्ड क्वेश्चन इज अ कंजेनेटल प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द जेनेटिक यूनरी ट्रैक्ट इन दिस कंडीशन द एंटीरियर वॉल ऑफ द यूनरी ब्लैडर इज लाइज ओपन द पूरा ब्लैडर दिखेगा रेड कलर का बड़ा अजीब सा रेडिश bladder you will see in the photo it's a very common neat pg question north side question so in this condition what is exposed out anterior wall of the urinary bladder is exposed out what is the nursing care you should have for bladder exostrophy covering the covering with the clean plastic wrap you basically cover the defect any defect you never leave it open any defect you never leave it leave it open you cover the defect what is epispadias epispadias means my my urine is not coming from the right place either it is below or above okay there is a abnormal placement of the urethral orifice of the penis you know there is abnormal doctor bachcha seedhi seedhi dhar nahi marta niche se mar raha hai niche se mar raha to hypospadias upar se dhar aa rahi hai तो एपिसपाडिया सामने से नॉर्मल धार आ रही है तो नॉर्मल है सो द एब नॉर्मल प्लेसमेंट ऑफ द यूरोथ्रल एपिफाइज इज एपिसपाडिया द बेस्ट वे टू मॉनिटर द इनटेक आउटपुट ऑफ एन इन्फेंट सफरिंग फ्रॉम एनी काइंड ऑफ कार्डियो और रीनल इनसफिशियंसी इज वेइंग द डायपर्स या दैट्स राइट सो सो वेट गेन वेट लॉस यू डू द डायपर वेट यू विल गेट एन आइडिया बिकॉज़ द सिक बेबी ही विल नॉट मे बी अलाउ यू टू कैथेटराइज और ही विल नॉट टेल हाउ मच यूरिन ही इज पासिंग विल्स ट्यूमर और नेफ्रोब्लास्टोमा इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन मेलिग्नेंट डिजीज ऑफ चिल्ड्रन वन ऑफ द मोस्ट कॉमन one malignant disease of the children is nothing but wilms tumor and wilms tumor is a renal tumor that originate from the embryonic tissue in which abdomen palpation is contraindicated it's contraindicated wilms tumor okay mel ha when yeah exactly so i repeat again tell me one condition where you know abdomen palpation is contraindicated that will be wilms tumor what is trilogy of fallow we have trilogy of fallow and tetralogy of fallow trilogy of fallow the mnemonic is rap rap r for right ventricular hypertrophy a for atrial septal defect and p for pulmonary stenosis tetralogy of fallow also same right ventricular hypertrophy same pulmonary stenosis so then you have ventricular septal defect and overriding of aorta and tetralogy Neurology of fallow patient has a problem known as tet spell, where the baby cry, cry, cry. Suddenly he'll go to, well, you know, he'll become cyanotic and all that. So crying will increase, elevate this tet spell, and uh, for that, squatting is the treatment. Squatting, giving oxygen, or in knee chest position. So squatting is nothing but the knee chest position. So oxygen and knee chest position are one of the treatment protocols we have for tetralogy of fallow, cyanotic spell, or tet spell. Pentalogy of fallow, penta. penta penta means five so all the four components of tetralogy of fallow plus a uh, atrial septal defect is pentalogy of fallow what happens in coarctation of aorta coarctation of aorta the pulses are the the blood is going not going down okay so this is our aorta and this one so here is the coarctation there is a aortic obstruction so once there is aortic obstruction very less 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 blood will go down to my up lower limbs so that's coarctation na the aorta is blocked so very less 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 blood will go down of the lower limbs so that's what the patient will have a abnormal femoral pulses and bounding upper limb pulses number 1 okay child suffering from congenital heart disease develop polycythemia result from inadequate mechanism to compensate for decrease oxygen saturation child suffering from congenital heart disease hmm 
that's right uh, so uh, this is a nice point actually so why cyanotic congenital heart disease will cause polycythemia so if the baby is suffering from a uh, cyanotic congenital heart cyanotic uh, matlab kya hai? the blood is a hypoxic blood right With the cyanotic means the blood is the lungs are not available for purification that is why the, the that is a cyanotic na? so hypoxia hypoxia will cause compensatory increase in hemoglobin production compensatory increase in hemoglobin production and that basically will cause polycythemia so hypoxia will cause compensatory increase in hemoglobin production and that is a khun bahut gaada ho jata hai the khun the blood becomes very thick known as polycythemia acha rheumatic fever disease that affects the heart joint skin and the brain yeah it do affects the heart skin joint brain that's true it develops if streptococcal thre throat infection is not treated that's very true okay we have erythema marginatum is one of the manifestations of the acute rheumatic fever okay early mm -hmm. what are the early signs of heart failure रेस्पिरेटरी डिस्ट्रेस टेकी कार्डिया टेकिपनिया इवन हार्ट फेलियर का ट्रायड होता है टी टेकी कार्डिया टेकिपनिया एंड टेंडर हिपैटोमी गली या टेकी कार्डिया टेकिपनिया एंड टेंडर हिपैटोमी गली इस दिशा था ट्रायड ऑफ कंजेस्टिव कार्डिक फेलियर ओके ओके टोटल एनोमलस पल्मोनरी वेन्स कनेक्शन सो टी ए पी वी सी टोटली रॉन्ग पल्मोनरी वेन्स का कनेक्शन इफ द पल्मोनरी वेन्स नॉर्मली पल्मोनरी वेन्स एंटर इन टू लेफ्ट एट्रियम इफ द पल्मोनरी वेन्स आर एंटरिंग इन सुपीरियर वेने के बाद दैट इज सुपरा कार्डिक टी ए पी वी सी पल्मोनरी वेन्स एंटरिंग इन टू द राइट एट्रियम इज कार्डिक टी ए पी वी सी एंड पल्मोनरी वेन्स एंटरिंग इन द इनफीरियर वेने के बाद इज इन्फ्रा कार्डिक टी ए पी वी सी द मोस्ट कॉमन टाइप ऑफ टी ए पी वी सी इज द सुपरा कार्डिक टी ए पी वी सी एंड मोस्ट ऑब्स्ट्रक्टिव टाइप ऑफ टी ए पी वी सी इज infra cardiac that's it has everyone understood this much yes or yes yes please let me know ek bar kya hota hai panch na panch पांच मेंढक होते हैं वो ना जंगल में जा रहे होते हैं पांच मेंढक जब जंगल में जा रहे होते हैं तो कुआं आता है और उस कुएं में गलती से दो मेंढक गिर जाते हैं जो ऊपर तीन मेंढक होते हैं वो दो मेंढक को बोल रहे होते हैं अरे ये बहुत गहरा कुआं है तुम ऊपर नहीं आ सकते वहीं रहो वहीं रहो वो दोनों मेंढक बेचारे फिर कोशिश करते हैं और कोशिश करते करते एक मेंढक तो मर भी जाता है एक ही बच जाता है फिर वो तीन ऊपर मेंढक खड़े होकर बोल रहे होते हैं कि भाई ये बहुत गहरा कुआं है तुम ऊपर नहीं आ पाओगे मत करो मत करो मत करो और नीचे वाला मेंढक कोशिश करते करते बिना उनकी माने वो ऊपर आ ही जाता है और स्टोरी खत्म हो जाती है पर इस स्टोरी में एक जो है छुपी हुई बात ये थी कि जो मेंढक ऊपर आता है वो गूंगा और बहरा होता है तो क्योंकि वो गूंगा और बहरा होता है इसी कारण वर्ष ही वो ऊपर आ पाता है ऊपर वाले बोल रहे होते हैं कि मत आओ मत आओ मत आओ लेकिन उसको लग रहा होता है कि वह सामने वाले कह रहे हैं आ जा आ जा आ जा पर वो कह रहे होते हैं मता 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 उसको लगता है वो कह रहे हैं आ जा आ जा आ जा सो अगर वह मेंढक जो है गूंगा और बहरा ना होता तो शायद वो कभी ऊपर आ ही नहीं पाता तो वॉट इज द मोरल द स्टोरी शादी वाला वो घोड़ा बने कैसा होता है शादी वाला घोड़ा शादी वाले घोड़े को मुकुट क्यों पहनाते हैं क्योंकि ताकि वो राइट ना देख पाए और लेफ्ट ना देख पाए बस वो सामने देखता रहे अगर राइट लेफ्ट देखेगा तो एकदम से वो परेशान हो जाएगा घबरा जाएगा सो दिस इज द अप्रोच टिल द एग्जाम दिस इज द अप्रोच टिल द एग्जाम ये जो पेपर क्वेश्चन पेपर होगा कंप्यूटर के ऊपर ये ऐसा घोड़े का ये रख के फिर क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करना है और धीरे धीरे क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करते टाइम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव इनहेल वन एंड टू होल्ड वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एक्सेल सो प्लीज टेक केयर थैंक यू आगे बढ़ते हैं अभी प्लीज टेक केयर थैंक यू